This is your last lab for this semester. The lab is very simple to do, but it has other complex calculations. So please reach out to your lab instructor, especially if you need help with these calculations. First, you will receive a trough that contains the chemicals. Remove the chemicals and fill it up with water. Fill one of your 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with tap water and invert it in the trough. Mount the other Erlenmeyer flask on the ring stand as it shows this video. Use your 15 milliliter graduate cylinder to measure out 15 milliliter of one molar hydrochloric acid. Pour the 15 milliliter hydrochloric acid into your empty 125 Erlenmeyer flask mounted on the ring stand. Make sure that you are ready to collect the gas as soon as you put in the tablet. Grab two antacid tablets that you'll be using in this experiment. Break one of your antacid tablets and make it in small pieces so that it reacts faster. Drop all the pieces of the tablet and all the powder into the Erlenmeyer flask that has the hydrochloric acid and immediately seal this container with your rubber stopper and the gas tubing. Do not wait to collect the gas because you're not interested in the purity of gas. The antacid tablet will quickly react with the hydrochloric acid and the gas will be generated and you'll be collecting the gas in the Erlenmeyer flask that you inverted into the water trough. Continue to collect the gases until all the pieces have completely reacted and dissolved. When the reaction is complete and there are no more gas being produced, Remove the tubing assembly and mark the water level in the Erlenmeyer flask where you are collecting the gas. Fill the Erlenmeyer flask from the water trough up to the point where you marked. Use 100 milliliter graduate cylinder to measure the water that you put in the flask. If you think about it, the volume of the water you just measured is the same as the gas that was in the Erlenmeyer flask before you removed it from the trough. Use another 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and add approximately 35 milliliters of distilled water to the mixture of your HCl and the tablet. Add approximately three to five drops of methyl orange indicator to your solution and sort the solution gently. The solution should be red. Pour between nine to 10 milliliters of one molar sodium hydroxide solution into your 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Record the actual volume in table one of your handout as initial volume. Using a plastic pipette, add drops of uh, sodium hydroxide from your 10 milliliter graduated cylinder to the Ellen Maya flask that contains the mixture of acid and the tablet. Continue adding the drops until the color just changes from red to yellow. If you have any solution remaining in the pipette, put it back into the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Record the remaining volume of sodium hydroxide into table one as final volume. Complete the table and start your calculations. 